We begin with the Fox 10 News Alert. A Phoenix police officer hospitalized after being hurt during a police shooting in the West Valley. We're going to go right out to Brian Webb. He is live near 87th Avenue in Bell Road with the very latest. Good afternoon, Brian. Hey guys, police have swarmed this area. Dozens of officers are here. You can see behind me, 87th Avenue is blocked off just south of Bell Road. And there is a possibly another crime scene nearby, although police haven't said exactly where that is or how it is connected. Let me show you chopper video high above the Larry H. Miller car dealership. Whatever happened, happened right at the back of the building. You can make out some medical supplies on the ground, showing that emergency crews worked on one or both of the injured people right there. Phoenix police say an officer is in the hospital with non life threatening injuries. The suspect's injuries have not been released. There's also a bullet hole at a building way across the street. That's how far the shot went. Employees over there at that dealership tell me they saw a pickup truck pull into the back of the dealership, followed by several officers, and they say they heard two shots, followed by several more. They say they it looked like police were already tailing this person before the troubles started. So Peoria, Glendale, and Phoenix police are all on the scene. We're expected to get an update at any time now. We'll bring that to you online and on air as soon as we get it. For now, live in Peoria, I'm Brian Webb, Fox 10 News. So again, if people want to come in there, Brian, uh, is the entire dealership shut down? Is it still open for business? What's the, what's the story there? Yeah, no, customers are still roaming around the dealerships and employees that have been chatting with us a little bit, so mm. it seems like they feel like the danger is gone. The only trouble that I can tell so far is trying to get down 87th south of Bell. Mm -hmm. uh, Obviously, this all happening while customers were in the dealership. Have you had an opportunity to talk to anyone who may have heard the gunshots? We talked to a few employees. Uh, they say, luckily, they were in a sales meeting at the time, so they were on the second floor. The bullet hole that went into the building across the street is on the first floor and actually didn't make it into the building because it's double paned, and the second pane caught the bullet before it could go in. But they still feel pretty lucky because out in front of that area is kind of a, an area where they linger or smoke from time to time. So they feel pretty lucky they, they got off on, unharmed over there. Right, Brian, we're live for us. Thank you, Brian.